Butterfly gliders. I've got one butterfly glider on YouTube, but it's just a plain one. And look in the description below for a video how to make these gliders and also how to make the pattern on it so it's nice and even both sides. It's not possible by just drawing it straight off. There's just no way. You'll know how to do that by watching that video and basically how to make it. It's not every step but a few steps are demonstrated and how to get the colour and also one thing I missed in that video is the weight. You're going to put a lot of weight on the front and you can do that as blue tack. What I've got is just a, a screw in there, screwed it into the polystyrene and glued it but also put blue, blue tack on top of that just a little bit just a small amount of blue tack and they've got just lots of little pins and nails pushed into there and then glued over the top and one of the nails goes right through the fuselage right to the thorax right to that black and white thing all the way through and so it makes it stronger and the head won't break off <laughs> but you need a fair bit of weight so the CG is really close about or oh, about about there or something you know but you find out by gliding it another thing you miss is how to bend the wings you basically bend the wings like that and like that like let me get a pointer I'll get a pointer I'll just go and get a pointer because this video is about what I've missed so it's important to have a pointer Now, when you bend the wings, you look at a triangle like that, basically like the markings are, and you roll the foam up on this triangle. It's hard to, you can't explain it, but you can demonstrate it. You see, it's rolled around that way like that, and on this side, yeah push it in there, roll it up on there, that part of it, they're bending it like that, you see, and that'll make it bob up and down too much, because the tail plane's got too much pitch, so then just bend the tail plane down a bit, like that, after you've done that rolling thing, and it'll go quite good, you can't do any videos at the moment of flying, because it's too windy, Got to wait till the wind dies down. And the other video tells you how to make it and what I want to say to you, you can't really tell you how to make the fuselage because it's just basically carved out a bit of polystyrene foam. And you do it with a rough file and follow it with maybe those paddle pop stick files. They look like a paddle pop stick or like a popsicle stick. And they're, but they're a little file, like a nail file they are and they just look like a pop popsicle stick with sandpaper on it and get them to make your fuselage and you just sand into it and uh, that's about it I suppose and the ballast weight you need enough weight so you have got too much weight it won't stall you've got enough weight that still will stall but if you can stop the stalling by bending the wings do the rolling thing as I said and bend the tail plane down a bit and if you can do that and it stops the stalling well you've got enough weight you got to make it sure it stalls a bit because it doesn't stall at all it won't look like a butterfly it'll be like a glider instead you want it to be a bit, little bit stally you know so here we go we've got a, um, a demo of it Yes, excuse me for a while, something's gone wrong, yeah. 
Okay. And you've got the light in the background, that's the only thing, but I can zoom it up, that gets rid of it. You're not aware of the wide angle. Now this is no markings on this glider, but who cares? It's a demo of it, and it's too windy to get anything else, so that's what we have to do. Nice and floaty, so it stalls a bit. See it stalling? Beautiful. Just the right amount of stalling you want. And if it starts bobbing up and down too much like that, you bend the tail plane down a little bit, you know, to stop that. And not too much though. Don't put too much weight on it. Otherwise it will be, won't be like a butterfly.